Okay, question number 34. This is a four-point question. So if x represents the number of pen... Ooh, sorry, skipped ahead. Sorry. Hannah went to the school store to buy supplies and spent $16. She spent four... She bought four more pencils than pens, two fewer erasers than pens, Pens cost $1.25 each, pencils cost $0.55 cents each, and erasers cost $0.75 cents each. If X represents the number of pencils, I mean pens, Hannah bought, so I'm saying X is pens, write an equation in terms of X that can be used to find how many of each item she bought. Well, we know that pens cost $1.25 each, so we have 1.25X. We know she bought four more pencils than pens. So if I want to, I can say pencils is x plus four, but we know that pencils cost 55 cents each. So I'm going to have plus 0.55 times x plus four. Now, we bought erasers too. She bought two fewer erasers than pens. That's a subtraction, so that's an x minus two. But we know erasers cost 75 cents each, so I have plus 0.75 times x minus 2 equals 16, because she only spent $16. Now the question's asking, are you ready? Solve for x. It says use your equation to determine algebraically how many pens Hannah bought. So what we're going to do is we're going to solve this equation for x. So I'm going to change up the color now, so I have 1.25x plus 0.55 times x plus 4 plus 0.75 times x minus 2 equals 16. Now what we're going to do is we want to solve this for x. So the first question we have to ask ourselves if we're doing p, c, v, n, a is to ask ourselves, do you have any parentheses? And if you look, i got a bunch of parentheses. So I have to distribute my coefficients. So I distribute 0.55 to my x and my 4 and 0.75 to my x and my 2. So I have 1.25x plus 0.55x plus, I have no idea what 0.55 times 4 is. So let's look. It's 2.2. So I have plus 2.2. Distribute my 0.75 now, and I have 0.75x. 0.75 times negative 2 is negative 1.5, so I have minus 1.5, and that's equal to 16. Now, if you look, I've got no more parentheses. So now the C says, combine those like terms. So I'm going to combine my like terms. X is with X's, numbers with the numbers. So we're going to combine my 1.25x my 0.55x, my 0.75x. So 1.25 plus 0.55 plus 0.75 is, ooh, my apologies, 1.25 plus 0.55 plus 0.75 is 2.55. So I have 2.55x. Now I'm going to combine 2.2 and my minus 1.5. And that gives me 0 0.7. So I have plus 0 0.7 equals 16. Now it becomes a two-step equation because I combine my like terms. The V stands for variables on one side. My variables are on one side, so I'm good. N stands for numbers on the other. So I have to get rid of that 0 0.7. So I'm going to subtract 0 0.7 from both sides of my equation. And I get 2.55x equals... enter and I get 15.3. Now, last but not least, you get your final answer by getting rid of the number that's attached to your x value. Or not your value, your x. So I'm going to divide both sides of my equation by 2.55. So when I divide by 2.5, I get x equals 15.3 divided by 2.55 and I get x equals 6. So I bought 6 pens. That's it. You put six pens, all that work for this.
And that's your final answer. And that's how you solve question number 34.